saw a piece online that said, um, no matter how old or big and scary you are, when a child hands you a toy phone, you always answer it. And it was that that notion that you know no one's too old for a bit of magic that sort of inspired this idea. It was the, the thinking of what what happens inside the guitar. We all know what a guitar is. We all know what it sounds like, but. You know, what if there's a little little old man in there, Alfonso, it's his workshop, he's the guy in there making the music that, that we all know and love that comes from a guitar. I chose to do The Legend of Excalibur oh, the day that the applications were due. I knew I wanted to do a myth, but <laughs> I didn't know which one I wanted to do. Then it kind of fell into place from there, like King Arthur and Camelot is kind of medieval, so I designed the guitar around a medieval theme. It only took me a couple of days, but it was a very long couple of days because there's a lot of fine point lines in there. Colour is applied to a note, which is applied through the music and then expressed through a hand and someone playing guitar. So the colour from the person through their hand is coming out through the music. We have a visual representation of that. It's kind of a, almost a biography of what the guitar actually is and where it's been, in a sense, I guess. It's nice to sort of see something that's not done purely by the hand. It's, it's literally using the instrument as a tool to paint, which I think is sort of nice instead of using it as a canvas. Well, basically, the idea was to incorporate recycled materials. So I used guitar strings and guitar picks for the, the hair and the figure, and the flowers. So the hair is sort of a growth that comes from the, the inhabitant of the guitar. Occasionally I get to burn things in art and that can be a bit of fun. This is a piece inspired by uh, folk musician Karen Dalton who played banjo, guitar and slide guitar. She also sang, she's a 60s musician, really beautiful lady and I know that she spent a lot of time traveling around. She spent a lot of time in Colorado, so I carved a picture of a house in the Colorado mountain range. And yeah, sort of in the folk style. Firstly, I drew like, the plan up on the Christmas paper, just to get the overall dimensions, I guess then started basically destroying the guitar they gave me, just marking out what I could use and what I couldn't use. And basically the end result was pretty easy. It took me two weeks to build. I had to basically re-sand the whole thing and re-stain it and make new stickers and it was great fun. I want to make more. I drew my design onto the guitar. I started with the man that I'd drawn up. Um, which is a futuristic busker. He has a, uh, the neck of the guitar is his arm. I kept the man in just basic rounds um, so that he would blend backwards into the guitar, become one with the, with the guitar. It's inspired by the song um, by Scott Matthews and it's a called Dream Song. And so that for me really talks about um, this idea of when you go, when you're a child, you kind of dream of really dreamlike situations that uh, are very naive and very fantasy kind of experiences, and, and that is something that continues in adulthood, and I don't think really ever escapes um, your thinking. Initially, the sketch was an eyeball, a mouth, and a mohawk, and I built the project from that. I didn't know what material I was going to use. I tried foam, I tried wire, I tried some sculpting clay, but none of them seemed to work. In the end, I was bunching up newspaper in a bit of a fit, bounding them with masking tape and stuck them to his face, and that's how I ended up with the nose. Somebody asked me what his name was, I looked at him, I thought of Rod Stewart, he's become Rodney, Rodney the Rocker. I basically created it with the intention of capturing something a little magical in something that's quite ordinary. So I basically started by painting the body of it and then from there I went through creating all the little bits and pieces. The more you look at it, the more you're going to see there's lots of little bits and pieces hiding around in there, hiding inside the hollow as well.